As we've been aging, playing video games has lost some of its joy. Despite being fun and relaxing, there's a constant feeling that it's a waste of time, especially with the need to earn more money due to inflation and rising costs. But there is a solution, an MMORPG where you can earn money while gaming. Imagine reliving the good old gaming days while actually making real money doing so. And no, this isn't one of those lame crypto games put together in 5 minutes that will fail within a week. Developed by some of the top gaming experts, this MMO offers both enjoyment and earning potential. In this video, I'm going to reveal what this top tier MMO is, some of the cool new features, and how you can turn your gaming passion into a lucrative side hustle. But first, my name is Duyo, and if you're into earning money while playing video games, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel because that's all we talk about here. And if you want to join a community of other gamers who like to earn while playing, then join my Discord group. There will be a description in the link below. Now let's dive on into today's video. Moranus is an MMORPG being developed by Gala Games. And if you don't know, Gala Games is one of the biggest gaming companies in the Web3 space and the team has worked on just about every major MMO that exists today. Basically, Moranus is made up of the dream team that you would want to create the perfect game and it shows. They give weekly updates in Discord and regularly share progress on YouTube and every week I feel I'm more amazed by what I'm seeing and trust me when I say I've been gaming for two and a half decades now and it takes a lot to amaze me. But let's get down to the basics of what Mirandus is. Mirandus isn't going to be like the games of today. There's not going to be any auto run or auto battle. The devs aren't going to give in to Care Bears and you won't be able to solo your way easily to max level like you can in literally every major MMO of today. I know if you play Elder Scrolls Online, Black Desert Online, uh, Final Fantasy XIV, even World of Warcraft, you can pretty much solo your way all the way to the top. Maybe you join a group every now and then on a, on a party finder for dungeons, but you don't talk to those people, you just run the dungeon and that's it, and you can solo your way to max level. That's not what Mirandus is. The way Mirandus is being designed, it will foster a sense of community and they're using some AI tools so the monsters will continuously be more challenging to players so the game will never get too stale or boring. And I actually made a video on this if you want to check it out. Um, I'll ping it up here and it's a pretty good video. You can see some of what the Mirandus dev team is up to. But these are the kind of things that add longevity to the game so that players will play it for years and years because when you have to form groups, when the players interact with each other, it just forms a tight-knit community of players and that's why you log in every day. Mirandus is going to be hard and death is going to hurt really bad. And it's made for gamers who want to challenge and it will be very high risk and very high reward. In fact, the lead developer, Michael McCarthy, has said that there will even be like one-time world bosses that could drop $10,000 or more. And we've already seen this happen in game where a player got a drop from a boss in an earlier playtest that's never going to be in the game again. And that drop is currently on sale for like $7,000 which is just absolutely crazy and it does show that you can make real good money playing this game. Which leads me to my next point. Yes, there will be real money to made in this game. There have been so many crypto games that just really suck. They draw in a crypto crowd who quickly loses interest because it's just not that fun of a game. And when the player base leaves, the earning potential goes out the door with them. However, as I mentioned before, this is one of the first real games in the Web3 space by a real game, I mean a professional team and a high quality game that you'd want to play regardless of if you were earning something or not. But luckily for us though, you can't earn and you can earn a lot. The team has paid attention to other Web3 games and has taken note on what works and what hasn't worked. Obviously most game economies right now have not worked out too well, but there have been a few success stories and the Miranda's team have kept the good and thrown out the bad. Which means you'll have more time to play now because you won't be needing to do your Uber Eats side hustle any longer. So, if you made it this far, that probably means Mirandus is sounding pretty good and you're probably wondering when you can start playing it. There will be a persistent play test that takes place at the end of quarter one, so the end of March, which means later on this month, 
and you can start playing and start earning in that game. The only requirement to get in the playtest is you will need to own an exemplar and those currently are on sale on sites like OpenSea or NFT Harbor and you can get one for around $50 which isn't a bad price to get early access into a game especially when you consider the fact that you can start earning your money back while you're playing this game right but if you're not quite sure what an exemplar is that's no problem check out this play test where i go over not only what exemplars are but i go over all 30 different types of exemplar bonuses so you can pick out the one that you like the most